Hey guys, it's Ethan. So this intro is going to be short. We don't have an episode this week. Instead, I'm going to share some information about what's going on in Ukraine. Julia Sosnowska from Don't Take Fake, which is the organization that runs a double triple fest, sent me over some voice memos about the Russian invasion. She's in Kiev right now, so I wanted to help her out, spread the word about how people can help if they want. Links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it. Short intro, no ads. Uh, here's Julia on the ground in Ukraine. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is uh, Julia Sosnowska, and I'm responsible for communications of uh, street culture community, Don't Take Fake, and uh, our projects like uh, Double Triple Fest. It's an uh, international urban sport contest taking place in Kyiv Historical Center under uh, People's Friendship Arc. We have summer event with skateboarding and BMX and uh, winter one with snowboarding and free and ski. We have more than 30 countries and uh, 100 athletes for each event and uh, broadcasted uh, to over than 100,000 spectators online. So what's happening in Ukraine now? Uh, since 2014, the part of Ukraine is invaded by Russia. It's an ex-territory of Crimean Peninsula and two unrecognized republics. It's Donetsk People's Republic uh, and Luhansk People's Republic, where Russian government spreads propaganda and gives some financial support. The most active period uh, of this war was during 2014-15, and then it stayed one of uh, the frozen war conflicts. During all these years, uh, Russian officials and media tell that there is no Russian army there, but it is, and there were lots of facts proving this. And uh, a couple of days ago, like four days ago, on February 24, in the morning, the uh, Russian army openly launched an attack in Ukraine. Uh, their soldiers are here and attack military and civilian infrastructure in many regions in Ukraine, including its capital, Kyiv. And Kyiv is now main purpose, uh, just to remove and destroy our president and government uh, and just to spread more panic to Ukrainians, to Europe, to everyone. And now we also have facts proven Belarus is Russian collaborator in this war and taking us to. So what's different now in our life? Uh, we have uh, 100,000 refugees who left Ukraine in the first days and uh, uncountable thousands of refugees uh, inside Ukraine who left Kyiv, Odessa, Kharkiv uh, and other attacked cities to stay in some safer place, for example, in Western, in Western Ukraine. Uh, those who stay home have to spend hours on the ground in shelters and subway stations, which became shelters too, uh, every time when we hear sirens of air alarm. And it's quite often, like... 10 times a day, probably. Everything is closed, uh, besides some grocery stores and supermarkets. Uh, but anyway, there is a lack of drinking water, bread, drugs, especially for people with special needs like diabetic. But uh, anyway, people stand for their country, becoming volunteers to help army, medical staff, and everyone who is in need. We, who have some access to internet and writing skills, uh, work with Infotex, uh, sharing truthful information throughout our media's personal pages on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram channels, uh, and more, and prepare some publications to have the support of uh, European Union and NATO to stop Russian attacks on our country, implementing strictest sanctions and providing military support to Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine's already fighting back and does it perfect. We keep calm just uh, because we believe in our army and that our president and military heads know what to do. And you can't even imagine the quantity of air attacks blocked with them. Um, for this hour, all big cities are under Ukrainian control and uh, Russia totally didn't expect uh, us to stand so long without showing white flags. Um, but to end this as fast as possible, we need international support with actions like economical sanctions, closed sky, public support of people all around the world, and uh, of course Russian and Belarusian people going on large anti-war meetings. 
we're thankful to all support the international community gives us, but uh, it's still important to continue mass protests and meetings to show leaders around all the world our main steps and actions we need now. First of all, implement the strictest sanctions which isolate uh, Russia from all civilian world, to close sky above Ukraine like Israel has, and close your country's sky to Russian flights. Uh, many European countries already did it, but there are still many which they did not. And uh, the main step is approval of Ukraine as EU participant, uh, the scene from which revolution here started in 2013, when Ukrainians showed their protests, uh, when our president, ex-president, uh, who was totally pro-Russian, uh, didn't sign the document about our European victor of development. And now Putin rhetoric says EU doesn't need us and won't support these actions, but we believe you can show it's not true. <laughs> And uh, there are some Ukrainian and uh, international funds to donate money for our army and civilians. And uh, everyone can share truths about events taking place in Ukraine, like you do. Uh, today, our president also announced the International Legion of uh, Territory Defense, so foreigners can join our armed forces with the contract. Um, you can receive any details in Ukrainian embassy in country you live. And all detailed information can be found in our accounts and accounts of many Ukrainian media and uh, organizations. Anything else? Um, the only thing I'd like to add is uh, that Ukraine was never an initiator of war. We stand for our land and protect our people. And Russia just used its resources and lies to its own citizens for many years. And we believe that our belief and truth will win.